Systems of education differ across the world, but most of us are used to classrooms and schools full of children. However, there is one system that looks very different to what most are familiar with, the Falkland Islands Camp Education, which is dedicated to teaching the handful of pupils spread across the rural farms and settlements in the Falklands. We have 23 children in camp with, in 10 different settings, seven staff out on the ground, one uh, dedicated telephone teacher in school, um, and together we educate the children. We do it in a variety of ways. Some children are in um, a settlement school where there's one teacher for the whole time. Some children are in a school where they might have um, a teacher for a few weeks and then they'll have a telephone teacher for a few weeks. But we're scattered across the islands and obviously the reason why we exist is because if you live too far away to travel and you're little, there is no option. We have to bring the education to you. As a team, they're very dedicated to getting where they have to be and delivering the education. Settlement schools like the one at Goose Green may look similar to any other school, but there are currently only three students here, Jamelia, Tamika and Roxanne. Um, the favourite thing about school is my teacher. When I'm at school, then, then, then I always do some painting at school. I love painting with my friend Tamika and my sister Julia. Camp children are taught in settlement schools or by travelling teachers with occasional lessons in Stanley until they are about to start secondary school when they will move to Stanley House. Well, here it's one-to-one -one sort of or small group learning. It's, you get more done with the children, have a lot more fun. Um, yeah, it's a whole class with 30 children is a lot more crazy. <laughs> this unique system of education has been going for 125 years, which was celebrated with a Stanley House Open Day. It's an amazing achievement and an amazing investment um, by the Falkland Islands and it really shows the commitment of, of the islands, the government and the community as a whole, and parents in particular, because the drive for setting up camp education was very much a community driven um, initiative. Um, parents obviously wanted to make sure that their children had the best education possible and, and that's still the same today. The basics of camp education are very similar to how it would have been but some aspects have changed over the years, from the amount of children in camp to the way teachers travel and the introduction of new equipment. We used to have, um, you know, annual events where we'd bring all the children into town and quite often you would take a child with you to the next place sometimes, depending how old they were and, you know, how, how much they were up for it, I guess. And so... I think today the children do a lot more mixing with their peers than they certainly did when I first arrived. Um, and that's been, you know, helped by the advent of roads and there's just, yes, far more movement in camp than there used to be. The travelling teacher would come visiting, would stay for two weeks and then would go away for, well, could be six weeks or, or what have you, and would leave six weeks homework for the parents to do with their, with their children. Um, and some parents obviously found it easier than others. But, uh, so basically they were getting sort of like two weeks out of every, every six to eight. But this, once the radios were in, it was every day, there was some contact. Um, and of course, you were able to support the parents better. Um, it was always, it was always a partnership. Well, at first, I didn't have a vehicle and I would fly to the first farm and then the, when it came to the end of my two weeks, I would be transported a bit like a bit of luggage down halfway to the road and then be met by the second family who would come part of the way to meet me and you'd be passed over like mail or something like that. <laughs> I didn't have any of the adventures of boats or um, horses or anything because by then, uh, 2004, we could get around by plane or rover. While this way of teaching children has evolved over the past 125 years, 
At the heart of it, the attitudes of those involved in camp education remain the same. But uh, they were keen, you know, and they, they sort of look, seemed to look forward to school. And, and that's what I remember in all my time out in camp, is the, is the enthusiasm of the children and the support of the parents. Yeah. Camp Ed has been going on for so long, proves its worth, and also the fact that the government puts in the finance that's needed. But I hope, and I just pray, that the whole of the ethos of Camp Ed will remain the same, and that as an individual unit, it can continue to support each other and be as much fun as it was when I first came. Oh, it's amazing, yeah, there's, um, I think all camp teachers will say that we are a rare breed and camp education is really special, it's very unique. I um, don't think there's anywhere else in the world that does education like they do it here, so yeah, very special. Yeah. Amazing experience. Um, you know, sometimes you had to pinch yourself to think, you know, am I really doing this? You almost got paid to tour the Falklands, really. It's very, very rewarding. Our teachers have um, unprecedented access to families and to children. We're very privileged in what we do and we know it and we really love it.